Welcome to my platform. I go by Milano on social media platforms. You can follow me on Twitter with Milano M E L A R N O. And I go by Teacher D on Facebook. If you go and type in Milano, you'll find out that account is not as active as Teacher D or giving updates the same way maybe Twitter is. Anyway, I haven't posted in a while. I'll come back to explain it. I decided also based on the responses and views to do a how-to video. So it's Saturday and this is one of the activities I'm doing. There are certain things we normally do during the week and they pile up. So today is one of me trying to unravel those pile ups and it's plastic bags. One thing about Taiwan, they're very big on recycling, reusing and uh, reducing. Also, when it comes to garbage, trash, whatever word you want to use, they take it seriously. Like um, on nights when I'm walking from the gym, I see some of them queuing like to go to that truck. There's a truck, there's a section. I haven't really witnessed how they then take the garbage, but refuse disposal is taken seriously also the town is clean the other day i wanted to do a recording of the streets it's clean and there are very few dustbins it's not like at every corner you find a dustbin also the people's um, attitudes towards refuse is very impressive so anyway how to video so it's saturday and so anyway let's get to turn the camera around because i am not doing a live so let's get into the plastic folding <laughs> right first things first maybe let's that's my tripod which i'm going to use for when i'm folding and demonstrating see my tripod anyway so this is the official refuse or garbage bag uh you can have those big ones but unless it's in a plastic like this here in taiwan they don't pick it up that's what i've picked up also when i moved into the apartment the agent gave me a pack like this so every month or two if i've bought more i need to go and purchase this this is how they look like they look like this they've got all these writings in chinese but they need to have this and yeah it's blue what i'm not sure of is these ones we also buy from convenience stores and they've also got these so i'm not sure if i can also dispose garbage in these but this was what I was told and I've been doing that very responsible citizen. So those are the plastics which I've already folded. Okay, this one is undoing. And I learned it from Mam Nanwa Mam Kulu Mam Kulu last month eh, back in Swaziland. She was doing it. It becomes so neat. So I'm going to do my own version which works for me. It helps you to pack them nicely and when you need them, you just simply take it off. Also, um, I normally carry this one in my backpack um it's got it normally carries the plastics they're sometimes folded properly and sometimes not also they give you these in the shop when you are buying a bottled stuff so that when they bump against each other no 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 and plastics for work or when i'm on the road to be packed in my backpack anyway uh let me now start folding and this is where the plastics normally go in and it normally stays in that cupboard over there but then um sometimes because i frequently use some plastics it ends up on top of the cup cupboard which is next to the sink and it becomes untidy so i'm going to try and fold them and take them back in the cupboard and then i'll use them as i go so let's get into it can i be honest it's so awkward doing what i'm doing without music so first things first you need a flat surface but the bed is flat enough also i have what do they call remixed a few steps so maybe let's try with this one uh get the plastic and fold and then you need to open up the top parts because when we carry plastic like this they end up like that so when you open it there's this sleevey part which is like that i think that's where they were connecting the plastic you can see that part and then this one and then i use them to match and that's the first step so i undo the plastic and then i open it up flatten it out also you put in your finger to try and push in those cleats 
<laughs> fashion designing coming in. So you push in those pieces and then I put it together like that. I can do it inside out or whichever way. So let's do it this way for today. And then I put the corners together and those two heads together. After that, I lay it flat. Um, this one I don't mind. Some of the plastics have, some of them don't. Like this one from oh, from Tops. I was buying cool drink at Tops. This one doesn't. But most of them locally, they have this part as well. <laughs> anyway, so after you folded it this way, then you fold it again to these two corners to the fold. And then you try and lay it flat. I used to see my husband pressing it flat because she wanted it to fold much better. So at the end of the day, then you need to be going to have something which looks like that. And then these corners are there. So let me go to the next step. So the next step is for you to try and create, is it a triangle, right angle, triangle? So you fold, this is the back, the underneath part. This is the top part with those where we carry it. So now at the bottom, we then fold it into a triangle, right angle, triangle like that, right? And then from there, you repeat the process by folding the very same triangle. It does that. When it folds like this, you see now that it's going to give you an allowance to fold on that fold. So you fold again. And mine becomes messy a bit. I can't pay attention to bring it because I don't have all the time. Already this, some feel like it's a waste of time. But if you've got issues of neatness and you suffer from OCD, sometimes um, such just helps you to not have a lot of stress about everything. But yeah, every day is a learning curve and every day is a chance. So I folded, there's the triangle. And then these are the carrying parts. This one, I'll just leave right there. And then let me fold for the last time. When I fold for the last time, then that's the other part. It then leaves you with this. And then you need to try and tuck it in there. So, let's go. But that's okay. This is done by people who, who've got time to waste. You know, sometimes some of these activities we do just to avoid certain stresses. For instance, when I go into church, guys, if the pulpit is not matching um, the chandelier, I can't hear anything. If your tie is this way, and the buttons are that way i can't listen to you i'm just my eyes are trying to fix that but i've learned um not to do much of that when it comes to my teaching because i was such a perfectionist it began affecting um, my relations with learners because basically i was trying to produce mini me's which that nah, it's not going to be always the case so i let to go um uh, like my colors needed to be together pencil cases um, some of these things I kept, but I learned not to be very frustrated if they don't happen the way I would love them to happen. But as long as they've got the idea that you must keep your desk neat. For me, it's like colors on one side. If there are textbooks, because we don't have those desks where you can put and then line them. English books together, because they were, they were in groups, they were working groups. Crayons, if they're group crayons on one side, glues in one. I used to use the ice cream containers. Way this is now becoming a teacher <laughs> video, but it was about folding plastic. So let's try and fold a smaller one. Um, this is small, but let's go to the smallest. Same thing. I have already first thing which I did this morning. I took them out and I laid them with this open so that now the the folding process is going to be easier. Remember sides together with that fold and then there's going to be that part right and then again i'm going to try and fold this part to come to this end like that i hope you can see and then i start trying to do the triangle so it's going to be tiny look at that triangle tiny triangle tiny triangle so yeah, I'm going to come back with my oh, patience. <laughs> I'm going to come back with my update videos on my teaching and also sharing, excuse me, my, my, my experience in Taiwan. There's a lot which has been going on, but you know, life happens and you need to prioritize on what is important in that better. Apologies to those who were religious um, likers and watchers of my videos. I know 
if someone has been inconsistent and then they need to come back and apologize hey guys life happens i'm trying to finalize this so now i'm trying to figure out where i'm going to put it inside but because i am me i'm going to do it a way which i think is going to work for me and there's a triangle tiny now i know um, based on the sizes i need to also redo this one a bit when it finally folds up aha comes thick now i know that these uh, so i'm glad that this is happening because you can see that uh, it will happen to you and then you'll need to apply the patience and then so now i know medium sized plastics big plastics and tiny plastics right so when i'm looking for a plastic i don't need to be open it this is this one no this one is going to also create its own triangle size and this one is going to create its own triangle size the the, the, the municipal ones i keep them in the package as they come in so yeah that's the story of the plastics i hope this was helpful you can share like and subscribe the video um milano squats i'm a ham about babes with my fit in tanda worry i need to finish this um so i decided let me do the video to show you how i normally fold my plastics and it's just something basic but it could be helpful and then it's neater so when i'm packing them for um my carry bag i'll pack a few small a few big when i get to a shop i don't know how many times they offer me to buy a plastic and i'm like oh no 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 cut open my bag because that's where the wallet is going to also come out from guys we're saying for this let me love and leave you skinny skinny guys so now and still me